It was so beautiful that I got overwhelmed and... He got overwhelmed. Hello cuties and welcome back to our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee normal monotype run. Last time we did go ahead and take on Nugget Bridge where we uh, found a Team Rocket member in disguise. And today our goal is to go ahead and take on uh, routes 20 and 21 in an effort to get to Pokemaniac Build to pick up our SSN ticket. Just a quick look at the team here. Um, Cooney, Splinter, Sokka, Ratata, or Dark Ratata, Phoenix, and Bellsprout, whom will eventually get replaced anyway, so we're not worried about Bellsprout. Um, Dark Ratata, kind of amazing. Just saying. Definitely a, 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 a heavy hitter last time. Uh, we did last time also get our um, special move on Eevee. I chose Buzzy Buzz because... We're definitely going to be using Eevee in uh, Misty's Gym here in Cerulean City. I do kind of want everybody, or at least the main hitters, to be roughly around level like 19 because that is the level that Misty's Pokemon, uh, highest Pokemon is, which I believe is a Starmie. Uh, so we definitely want to focus on Sakura and I believe I'm going to say uh, Dark Rattata for this particular gym, uh, simply because, um, our Dark Rattata is part dark, so it will, uh, be able to hit the Starmie with a super effective move, um, and it would be a stab move, so... Potentially could be a really fantastic uh, Pokemon to take into that battle there. Uh, I've not done any of the junior trainers yet. Uh, primarily simply because I want to get through Route 2021 before I do any of that. So that is actually going to wreck everything in sight. Okay. <laughs> um, we did get a nugget from the... Um, Team Rocket member in disguise, so that was really good. Um, I have not turned in any of these kind of things yet. Once you, oh, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna get bite too. Um, let's let's drop Tail Whip because Focus Energy will increase our critical hit ratio. Yeah, let's drop Tail Whip. I forgot that actually regular Rattata, but. Obviously, Dark Rattata is better to have using Bite with just because, again, Stab. So, also, uh, Dark Rattata basically can't be hit with Psychic moves. So, that would leave the Starmie with, I think, like, it's one Water move, which I think is Scald. And then I think it has a, uh, uh, maybe a Healing move on it. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I do know two of its moves. One is definitely a Psychic move, and one is a... Uh, a water move and if it is scald we're not going to bother with this guy because he has the charmian the charmander obviously does not receive any normal typing so we can't get that pokemon anyways for the team um and it's not going to give us any um uh, experience for catching it so there's really no benefit okay so there's a meow we have not we've not gotten a meow yet okay so we can catch that meow we can catch this meow and add it to the team Come here. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is nice. Alrighty. Uh, it's yellow, so let us try to make this a little bit easier on ourselves by using an item. And then we'll go ahead and get ready with the Pokeball here. I'm kind of hoping that a Pokeball will be enough to take out a Meowth. Okay, that was not... I threw too late. I threw too late on that, definitely. Okay, yeah, we missed the catch. Okay, we are going to go one more time for a regular Pokeball. There we go. That's a lot better. Before I try using a Great Ball. Um, not that I can't get more money to buy more Great Balls, but there we go. We got him. Okay, so we need a name for a Meow. Uh, you know what? It's a male, so we're going to name it James. We're going to name it James after the wonderful Jesse and James duo. Obviously, it's not like one of his Pokemon or anything like that, but I figure why not. Okay, so Cooney is 15, which is nice. 16 and 15. Okay, very cool, very cool. Ooh. 
Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so your physical attack is going to be stronger than your special attack. Um, let me see. Gust. What do we got here? Gust is 4,100. Okay, yeah, we're just going to go straight up with one. Okay, we're going to drop Gust. We're definitely going to drop Gust. Okay. I think everybody right now should have headbutt on them. I am going to go ahead and add um, our newest member to the team to replace the bell sprout right there. So let's see what it has to say. So Meowth's data, uh, let's see, appears to be more active at night. It loves round and shiny things. It can't stop itself from picking them up. Okay, so you put it in the bag, but we're actually going to pop you right onto the team here. Wrong button. Uh, bag, uh, Pokemon box. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Where are you? Okay, so we can finally remove you from the team. Remove from party. And we want to add you. Add to party. Yep. And let's go ahead and give you a name. I guess we're going to name this one James. And we're going to see if it also can learn headbutt. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's fine. You can travel with us, Meow. That is fine. Uh, James. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Uh, J, A, M, E, N, S. There we go. Your name is now James. And what's really nice, if you notice, that everybody uh, is actually roughly within decent levels of each other. So that's, that's actually really nice. Uh, I did say I wanted to go ahead and teach you headbutt right out the gate. Um, Sakura can also learn it, but I don't want to teach it to you. I don't think we will. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so you actually have, what is, what is fake out again? This attack works and makes the target flinch. It only works. That's actually not a bad move because you can kind of like hit fake out and then hit another move like right out the gate. Taunt, the target is taunt to a rage allows you to only attack moves for three turns. See, this isn't bad if I'm going against Pokemon that are primarily special attack users, which basically means it has almost no moves to use. But I do definitely want bite. I definitely want bite. Um, let's drop payday. We're gonna drop payday. I kind of want to keep kind of its signature move, but I mean, not really signature move per se, but I, I'd rather it have head, but it's, it's so much stronger and money isn't necessarily a problem in this game. Um, yeah, it's just not. Okay. So, uh, we are coming across this guy. He's going to either have rock Pokemon or fighting. So let's see what you actually have. I'm kind of hoping that you do have like the matchup, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? I don't remember. Franklin, what do you have? Franklin does have the Onyx. Okay. I chose Pole. The Kune has chosen Pole. We definitely need to swap this out. Um, I think Sakura actually has the fighting move. You do have it. See, I don't want to give Eevee all of those special moves because I do know for a fact that they're very OP. So I don't really want him to have all of them. But definitely, definitely one or so at a time. Uh, we're going to go with the double kick. Obviously, if I had the, um, the whatever one the water's called. Oh my gosh, that did almost nothing. Oh my gosh, this did like nothing. That did like nothing. Oh my goodness. This is not good. You're going to hit me so hard, aren't you? Okay, so not that bad. Yeah, this does not hit for as much as I was hoping it would. I mean, obviously I have a normal type using a fighting type move, so it's not going to be that fantastic. But I really thought that the level difference, at the very least, would have given us something a bit better than that. But I was wrong. 
And rage really isn't hurting us that much, even though it is connecting. So I guess I'm not too concerned about it, but yeah. I really, really just thought that this would have done better. But there you have it. He only had the onyx, which is good. And I hit two times, okay. 88, okay. Nice, and everybody else got EXP here. Okay, I really hoped he had had the matchup on hand, but he didn't. Um, we may have to do a little bit of grinding if I can't get everybody, or at least a couple Pokemon up to their proper levels, which is battling these guys. Okay, so you might actually be a bird keeper. I think that's what you are. If that's the case, I do want Sakura at the top slot for this. Um, I'm not 100% if you're a bird keeper, but I, you have the... Yeah, you are. Okay. I don't always remember what every uh, character sprite looks like. So I, try, I just try to remember based on like older games and stuff like that. Okay, so we have Buzzy Buzz, which obviously is going to wreck this Pidgeotto. Oh, okay. So it didn't hit as hard as I thought. I mean, it hit hard, but I really thought it would one shot. But we do have the Paralyze and it's Sand Attack. That sucks. Sand Attack is just like... It's... <laughs> Sand Attack is one of those moves where it's like, I really like it when it works for me, but it seems to almost always work better for the opponent. It almost never seems to work in my favor. We're gonna have to go ahead and, and my Paralyze is like doing nothing to this Pidgeotto. Let's go ahead and swap in Rattata, <coughs> or excuse me, Dark Rattata. Uh, like the Paralyze did not even stop it from hitting us with another Sand Attack. But luckily swapping them out does uh, take care of that. Ho! Dang! We're gonna go with the Quick Attack because I want you down. Holy smokes. That hits so hard. I mean, I guess we are a couple levels lower, but dang. Oh, well, also it's a Pidgeotto. Oh, nice, okay, so you, oh, but yeah, this one's also going to level up faster because we got this one in a trade with uh, a girl at the Pokemon Center or something, I think it was the Pokemon Center, uh, where I gave her a Cantonian Rattata, she gave me the Alolan Rattata. So we beat Bird Keeper Joey. And I'm decent, I'm decent apparently, thanks. I thought I was a little bit better than decent, but apparently, according to Toby, I'm just decent. Okay, so we do have a junior trainer down here. Unfortunately, um, Dark Rattata is not gonna be the option here. Let us start with Kuni. I don't wanna have to go back too soon to heal. I might have, I think I have some potions on hand that I can use up really quick instead of running back all the way to Cerulean. All right, Chad, what do we got? So Chad has a Diglett. Okay, so this isn't horrible. It won't be able to use ground type moves against me. Um, but I don't really have any highly effective moves for you. So let's go with the headbutt and see what that does. You're ground typing, not rock typing. So that should, sh okay, so that was a crit. That should be at least in our benefit. Okay, yeah, that wrecked you. That wrecked little poor Diglett. Sorry, kid. I didn't mean to like one hit your little diglet there buddy but i but i'm glad if it, you're training you're training you just gotta gotta you know you gotta work up gotta train a little hard gotta get yourself a duck trio okay gotta get yourself a duck trio also just saying little kid it might benefit you to maybe have more than one pokemon on your team uh medicine pocket we do have potion all right we're gonna go ahead and use this on dark rat attack I'm gonna call him Doctor from now on. It's not his name, but DR, Dark Rattata. So I think that kind of, although I don't know, I kind of like calling him Dark. Just, I didn't want to check your summary. I wanted to move you, my bird. I do like calling you Dark. In fact, I kind of want to take you out of the Pokeball. Let's take you out. I want to see, I want to see you running behind us. You're kind of pretty awesome. I do like you. Okay, so what I did notice last time is starting with a focus energy obviously increases your critical hit chances it completely decimated like uh some pokemon over on like nugget bridge i mean just outright wrecked him out and it was fan freaking fantastic 
So we're actually going to go ahead and start with a focus energy first. We do get to move first and we're only gonna do one. And then from here, we're gonna do things like bites. So you poison sting. This could actually poison me. Hopefully not. Okay, so it did not get the poison. So now we're gonna go with a bite, hope for a flinch, um, and a crit. And it did not get the crit, but that was just one hit. So I feel, I, mean, I don't know, man, freaking Alolan Ratata is like, it's a pretty, I, I'm really happy we have one. I'm definitely happy we have one. I cannot wait for this thing to become um, uh, eradicate. I think it's gonna be really, really freaking awesome to have on our team. Um, Clearly, for the most part, you don't really have Ratatas and stuff on your teams, but normal run being what it is, uh, no, we are not going to swap. We're going to go Ratatab versus Ratatab, but obviously we're going to be going Alolan versus Cantonian, so I am two levels higher. I am already pumped, so we're going to go straight for the bite, and you went quick attack. Okay, so you do have the priority. Ooh, got it, crit. Okay, come on. Come on, DR. Thank you. That wasn't even a crit. That wasn't even a freaking crit. My goodness. You're something else, DR. You're something else. I do quite like you a lot. Okay. All right, let's head down this way. So we have another hiker. We're gonna put Cooney at the top again in the hopes that maybe, maybe he'll have like the match up. I'm not gonna make any promises. Other guy did have the Onyx, so obviously he could very well have Geodude or an Onyx, but I'm kind of hoping that Knob here will have maybe a matchup. He doesn't, he has a Geodude. Okay. My hope failed me. It's okay. We will swap back into Sakura and let her take this on with the uh, double kick there. Like right now, as far as rock Pokemon, this move is my most my most powerful move. Unless I try, unless I decide to put the bubble move on it, or the water move, whatever it's called. But I can't really use normal type moves simply because rocks resist it. So any of my normal type moves, even headbutt, are not going to be that great. So my kind of hope would be. Obviously, I can use dark moves and stuff like that against them. but I don't know like how hard it's realistically gonna hit. Oh, thank goodness this is not a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Cause that wrecked. Okay, let's, uh, let's trade out here. Let's trade out here. Um, he could use a rock move and if he uses a rock move, he could easily take down. Cooney, you're pretty low. Um, let me see your attack, which is 13 versus uh, your attack, oh, not your attack, your attack, which is 15. So you're 15 and you are 21. So your attack is actually higher. So we're going to, I think I'm going to swap into you and try the bite. Try the bite on you and see if we can't, well, even if we attack and knock you out, we're, the flinch isn't going to matter anyways. Okay. He uses Bide. Okay. Bide, Bide is... I've never gotten very good at it. Um, from my understanding, it's supposed to be where, like... Okay, so that just took you out. Okay. My understanding of Bide is, like, if an opponent hits you, you store up the energy that they hit you with. They hit you again, you store up the energy that they hit you again. And then you uh, basically throw it right back at them. Uh, okay, now you send out the match up. Yeah, let's switch. Okay, Cooney, it is your time to shine, dear. Um, I primarily, <laughs> I don't really use too many rock types, I guess, even though like Bide is like a perfect move for them. I've just never gotten used to using it. I tend to be more of attack and not really set up kind of person. So that certainly doesn't help. That wing attack was really good. You low kick. This could, 
Okay, okay, so my, my flying type does make his moves, uh, or fighting moves in general, hit for normal damage and not super effective. That's good to remember. That is something that I often forget is when a Pokemon, like a Pidgey, is both uh, flying and normal type. The normal type obviously, oh, uh, what do we got? Who, who wants to lose and forget something? Okay, so you do. I kind of want to keep a sand attack on you. Quick attack is 4,100. Bite is 6,100. Um, okay, it's probably time to lose quick attack. Yeah, let's go ahead and forget quick attack and give it bite. I mean, there's nothing that normal moves are actually super effective against. They're primarily just uh, standard and normal against the majority of Pokemon, excluding obviously ghosts, which they can't hit, and uh, rock types, which resist, and fighting types, which resist it, I believe. I cannot always remember <laughs> if everything that something resists or something that every something is super effective against does it also resist the opposite? It doesn't always work that way. And I am notorious for forgetting which ones work that way. Like in this, I'm trying to, like, I have to remember that, you know, I have a flying, a normal type Pokemon, but even though it's part normal, the flying, neg not negates, but, um, <laughs> sorry, we pushed you out of the way there, buddy. Uh, the flying type makes a fighting type move hit for normal damage instead of the super effective damage it would typically have against a normal type Pokemon. There's, I don't remember the majority of them. And then once you get to ones like dark and fairy and ones that aren't particularly obvious, it's, it's harder for me to remember even those. Some things like dark versus fighting I remember because in Japan, dark type, if I remember correctly, is actually called evil typing or something similar. So fighting type is considered a noble uh, Pokemon or honorable uh, typing, whereas dark slash evil is not considered an honorable um, typing. So fighting is stronger or super effective against dark. And then I'm fairly certain dark is uh, resisted by fighting. Okay, so we don't have cut yet. Who's at the top of the Cooney is? Let's move Sakura again. I really do need you to be pretty high level. I, I need you up there too. I, I still do have all of Misty's junior trainers to get through, but what's funny is I think in the older versions of the game, the hiker and the girl might've been swapped. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I don't know, some, something, I don't know, for some reason I'm thinking that they were, but, um, but yeah, like I know that fighting is super effective against dark. What I don't know is, uh, let's go ahead and, you only have one Pokemon. Let's go ahead and focus energy anyways. Um, are you quick attack? Okay, fair enough. That actually hit pretty. Um, does like fighting resist dark? I, I can usually remember it in one direction for the most part. It's in the opposite direction that I have a very hard time remembering. Um, unless it's like a really obvious thing. Oh, what'd you just do? Oh, you use uh, confuse ray or something like that. That sucks. All right, we're gonna swap you out. I don't wanna deal with confusion. Uh, Sakura, you go ahead and take this on now. You do have Buzzy Buzz, so you're probably just gonna knock the you're just gonna knock it out. Not probably, you just are. Unless you use the Confuse Ray again. I really hope you don't. Use Quick Attack, that's fine. Well, I actually shouldn't hit too hard against this. Okay, there's Buzzy Buzz, you'll be done, and we'll move on. Um, I will keep uh, DR, I usually use Quick Attack, okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll keep DR at the top though. Keep trying to get uh, DR some EXP there. What's really nice because this is not a Nuzlocke. Um, if somebody dies, that's okay. So I, but on that, I feel more comfortable being able to swap into other Pokemon because I don't have to worry about them fainting. 
Okay, so we took you on, and let's go. No, no, no. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Come on. Come on. Come on, kid. Come on, see me. There we go. Oh, almost botched it. If you don't do it this way, you have to wait until you get cut in order to get back there to get the item. And I almost botched it up. All right, Dustin, what do you have? Okay, so you have a Squirtle. Nice. There is actually a uh, uh, an Ace Trainer, whatever they call them in this game, on the far right side. So you're 13, I'm 14. You're pure water. Okay. Um... Let's go for the headbutt and see if I can't just go first. Okay, that did about a little under half, I think. And I hit for harder. So we're gonna go headbutt again. This should probably take three hits. Yeah, okay. So now you're gonna use, okay. Yeah, why it didn't just start with bubble right out the gate, I don't know. Um, that clearly is a superior move because of the stab and stuff like that. So that, that, but again, it's a computer. So what is it? Yeah, what does it know? It's gonna use whatever it thinks is gonna be the best move against us. Well, I mean, yeah, I know. I know, give me your money. Okay, so we got the camper. Let's grab this, which is a uh, thunder wave. Okay, nice. That is actually not too bad. Um, it could definitely paralyze some opponents see if we can't you know prevent them from attacking us but who's in the top you are okay let's let's move you up let's move you up okay let's see what you have uh so let's see what the last has um, my, okay, my friend has many cute Pokemon. She is very jealous, so you may not have anything that would be technically considered cute, which is usually like Jigglypuffs and stuff. So what do you have? Send out Odd. Actually, Odd is just actually really cute. He's so like angry cute. <laughs> Why do you not like Oddish? You don't need to be jealous. You don't need to be jealous of your friend's Pokemon. Your Oddish is fantastic. We're actually gonna focus energy because she does have two Pokemon, so my hope is that I can focus energy Increase my hit chance, critical hit chances, and then um, hopefully take out her too. But you did use acid. And acid hits actually like a train. It hits very, very powerful for a, uh, an early on move. Oh, geez. Goodness gracious. Come on. Come on. We need that crit. Where's that crit? Come on. Where's that crit? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I was looking for right there. That right there is what I was hoping for. I'd got, ooh, quite a few crits last time using, um, using DR. Oh, who she at next? <gasps> I wasn't paying attention. We're going to keep battling. I can't remember who she has. Pidgey. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is not that great of a setup. Um, we'll go with head, but you are still part normal anyway. So you quick attack. Okay, we might have to swap out after you. Ooh, nice! Yes! Yes! Do we have quick attack? We don't! Dang it! Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Sakura, you I feel comfortable trading into you. Let's let's go. Dang it. <laughs> um, if you're curious why I'm not really focusing too much on uh, Meowth, uh, it's pretty much because um, later on I am going to have uh, Route, route five uh, is a Jigglypuff. And what am I doing? The Jigglypuff is normal and fairy typing. Whereas I've already got, I've already got like two pure normal typings on the team as is between uh, Sakura and Splinter. So I don't really need another pure normal typing in James. Um, so James probably is going to be the one to get swapped out. Uh, then again, I don't need two Rattas on the team. You are a fishing guy. You are a fishing guy. Um, let's move you, Splinter, to top. 
And yeah, let's go with you. Let's go with you. And then, like I said, there's another uh, ace, whatever they call those trainers over there. Let's see what Wing has. He has a magic carp. This was a good. This was this was good. This was good. Magic carps are um, too high on my be scared of that list. In fact, I don't even think they make it. I don't even think I. Well, let's go ahead and focus energy because he does have two Pokemon. So at least this way, maybe I can like nail the crit on one at least. Okay, so his magic carp only does no splash. I think. 15 or so, maybe it would learn tackle, something like that. Let's go with the headbutt. This actually gives us the um, stab on you. It did not crit though, which kind of sucks, but okay. Yeah, I don't think you would get tackle until later, so. Although, the deer fisher guy, I think his name is Wayne, he, he looks pretty fierce. He's, he's really definitely like, I will throw this fish at you and you're gonna take it, and I'm gonna be like, okay. But it, it's it's a super fang. Oh, super fang, super fang, super fang. The user chomps hard on the target with its sharp front fangs. This cuts the hit point target's hit points in half. So, okay. That's a hard one. It cuts it in half, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better than headbutt. Because headbutt also makes him flinch. Uh, I think I'm going to drop quick attack. Because quick attack in the long haul eventually isn't going to hit as hard hard as super fang would. So you're saying at a crabby. Okay. Let's just keep battling. So my thought is if you swap out the quick attack for super fang, um, I, I'm, I'm guessing that maybe that half will be a harder hit than the quick attack. End game further on down the line game. Um, yeah, let's go for the head, but again, this this is your stab, so. And it's a water type, so it's just pretty typical. And that was the crit right there. Okay. I think we've gotten, yeah, I think we've got maybe one or two crits. I, I can't remember. I, was, I don't remember the, against the magic carp there. I wasn't paying too much attention. But I think we got one or two crits in this battle. So I think... Unless it's a longer, potentially longer battle. The focus energy would be better spent on trainers with more than one Pokemon. Otherwise, I could probably take that Pokemon out in the same, like, one or two hits, whereas the crit isn't guaranteed. So I think that might be the strategy with that. Okay. Now, I still have to take that person on. We have this over here. I don't recall what she has. These guys don't have anything, I don't think. Uh, okay, so, okay. Wrong game, then. I'm misremembering. I really thought that there were people down there, two of them, actually. Uh, Sakura, I am going to move you to the top for this battle. She could be top. So this area is popular for dates. Ooh la la, coach trainer. There it is, coach trainer. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and battle you. I can definitely trade into Pokemon if need be, but I'm kind of hoping that Sakura can take her. Take Amala. It's actually a pretty name. Okay, so there's my matchup. There's my matchup. And we're trading. It is a 16. I do not actually have anything that can work well against him. So Cooney it is. Cooney has wing attack. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the good move here. We'll still get experience, like I think equal experience points on Sakura anyway, so I'm not worried about that. Use seismic toss. I think seismic toss is like a set amount. Okay, yeah. 
if I, if I remember correctly, I think seismic toss is a set amount. So that being the case, we can handle another seismic toss. So it can hit us. God, that sealed it under. Use seismic toss again. Um, if I hit you now, um, if I hit you now, I'm not going to get an opportunity to heal, right? Oh, shoot. I can't quite remember. Uh, Cooney, you have 40, so we're going to use a super potion on you just to get you completely healed. Now I should be able to take on the match op the rest of the way. I only have the one super potion, so. Continues to use seismic talk. So seismic talk can hit me twice. So I can go ahead and I can get me in a wing attack here. Okay, so he'll seismic toss again, and then we'll be able to hit him for the last wing attack. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I had to heal there otherwise i would have just lost my opportunity to do it there we go and the coach trainer is down okay that is our third coach trainer uh thus far and we beat amala oh am i the one who got coached <laughs> give me a, a 16 dollar okay uh phew, i haven't had fun like that in a long time here take this seismic toss okay we could see if somebody can learn it. It deals damage equal to the low. Oh. Okay, so it's not like Dragon Rage, where that was an even 40. The higher the level the Pokemon, the better this move is. Okay, so right now it's really not worth putting on the team, even if anybody can use it, because minor Pokemon are all like in the team still, so that's not a lot. Um, power there. So this here is Bill's lab. He is, of course, the Pokemaniac. Um, and this whole thing is set up like the fly. I've never seen the movie, but I do know the reference. And there he is right there. He used to be, did he used to be a Jigglypuff or uh, a Clefairy or something? Hiya! I'm a Pokemon! No, 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 I mean, I'm Bill! Call me Bill. I have a true blue Pokemon fanatic. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, lady. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out here. I'm going to go with yes. We're going to go with no. I'm going to say, say no. Don't be so cold. Come on, you got to help a guy in such deep, deep trouble. What do you say? Please? Okay, all right. I don't even care. I don't get to choose again. I want to climb inside the teleporter so you can run the cell separation system for me because a 10-year-old should be the one doing this. You can do it from that PC over there. You're going to do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. I'm counting on you, lady. I'm just saying. You're tr Oh, see, yeah. Oh, what happens if we try and walk away? Oh, we can walk out. Okay. We can walk out, but it doesn't do us any good to walk out. Okay. All right. It doesn't do us any good to walk out. So let's go pretend we know what we're doing. The screen says something about a teleporter. Whoa, I should get in there. Don't mess this up, okay? I mean, if we mess it up, it's really not our fault. You started up the cell separation system on the teleporter. I really don't think this is our fault if it messes up. Oh, this is cute. Evie's all excited. We're kind of terrified in the background. Evie's like, holy crap, what's going on? This is awesome. All right, there's our uh, male Nidorino. And here comes Bill. Oh, my. Yeehaw! Thanks, Liddy. I owe you one. Hey, you've got your Pokemon box right there in your bag. Good job. If you ever catch too many Pokemon and your box gets full, send some of those Pokemon to Professor Oak. I bet he'd be mighty thankful. Oh, look at me. I'd forget my own head if it weren't attached. I should do something to thank you, too. You did save me, after all. Here, maybe this'll do. You got some SS tickets from Bill. It's supposed to be SS Anne. That, 
cruise ship, the SS Anne, pulls into port in Vermilion City. They invited me to some party on board, but I can't stand fancy gatherings. Why don't you go instead of me? There are a couple tickets in there, so have some fun with a friend or something. Or something. Okay, typically you could actually go here. Uh, which one do you, yeah, okay. So, okay, so, oh wait, wait. Here I am at the Seafoam Islands in search for Pokemon I've never seen before. I came across some rapids underground that were too, too fast to swim across. I was exploring that area when suddenly I was hit by a blast of freezing cold. It was as if I was struck in a blizzard. It got so cold, I began to black out. As my consciousness faded, I saw a pair of shiny wings over the waves. Could that be the legendary Pokemon Articuno? When I came to, I was lying on the ground outside of the cave for some reason. I need to practice my swimming so that next time I can capture Articuno for sure. That's what he got out of that? Here I am at the abandoned power plant in my search for a Pokemon I've never seen before. I had no idea you could reach this place by swimming from that spot on Route 10. As I was exploring, one of the Pokeballs lying around suddenly attacked me. It made a huge explosion and knocked me out. But I do remember seeing some jagged looking wings as I blacked out. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Zapdos? When I came to, I found myself lying outside the power plant. As soon as I become able to withstand those, that's not how it works. I'm going back to catch Zapdos. That's not how that works. Here I am at Victory Road in search of Pokemon I've never seen before. It seems you can't get very far without doing something about the stone walls in the way. As I was exploring the cave, I saw the most beautiful Pokemon. It was so beautiful that I got overwhelmed and... He got overwhelmed. As I did, though, I saw it flap its brightly burning wings. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Moltres? When I came to, I was all alone. Next time, I've got to stay conscious so I can capture Moltres for sure. I'm just saying, that's, that's, <laughs> way to go, Bill. Way to go, you got overwhelmed <laughs> and just passed out. Oh, Bill, you, you are something else. You are a true blue Pokemon fanatic who passes out every time you come within steps of a legendary Pokemon. Oh, what you got for me here? Oh, do 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 do. What you got? What you got? Raspberries. Nice. Thank ya. You're so wonderful to have out. I do enjoy you. You run ahead, though. Not all Pokemon run ahead. Some actually run behind you. All right. We don't need to do that, though, my dear. All righty. Let's go heal up really quick. Yes, I would. And this is the end of uh, our next part of our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee normal monotype run. Uh, and next time we will start with going after uh, the Cerulean Gym uh, leader, which of course is Misty, the water type Pokemon Gym leader. Uh, I'm level 17 right now, I believe, with Sakura. Yeah, Sakura is level 17. Uh, DR down here is level 15, so we'll see how we do with Sakura. I really would love to get Rattata some levels. Um, so maybe what we'll do next time is instead of going straight for the gym, we will start with going and doing some catching um, to kind of fill the levels out a little bit here. Uh, Sakura and Kuri are fairly close with uh, DR down there coming in third. So um, I, I can kind of see right now that Sakura, Kuni, and uh, DR might be our, our focal team until we get somebody else in there. Um, like right now, uh, Splinter, James, and uh, Phoenix all the same level, but Phoenix is of course the same typing as Kuni. Uh, James and Splinter are the same typing as they are to Sakura up there, and you will be getting a Jigglypuff. So that's normal fairy. So somebody's coming off the team. I'm not really sure who yet. Um, 
I've got options. I definitely have got options. Uh, so we'll see. We'll definitely have to see who who goes to the box. Uh, but that will be next time. I think, like I said, what I will do is I will probably try and get Sakura maybe another level. Maybe not. We might just straight go through with Mr. Jim. Uh, Radit, Dark DR, uh, Dark Radatad down there. Definitely want to use against Sabrina because of the siphing, but uh, we'll have to see how that's going to work. But uh, of course, guys, uh, thank you so much for hanging out and everything like that and watching. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please, you know, go ahead, hit like, subscribe so you can, you know, uh, and the notification bell if you would like to know when another video goes live. Uh, otherwise, you know, leave some comments if you would like to name a Pokemon, <laughs> feel free to drop some suggestions down there, even if you would like your own viewer name added, um, as to name one of our newest guests, because we should be getting a Jigglypuff next time, so we will definitely be having somebody to name. Uh, so on that note, guys, you have an absolutely fantastic day, and again, thank you so much for hanging out. Bye now. Mwah.